Hello and welcome. Last episode we created the restart button, so whenever we want we can restart our game and play again. Today we're going to continue with the UI and add a pop-up message which would signify who the victor is. So let's go ahead and create a blueprint. We're going to call this TTP winner UI. We're going to add a little text block here. Anchor to the center. I guess I gotta do negative 150. Color, let's go yellow and then outline color black. Okay, outline size 5. Can I make the size a little bigger? Six. Okay, great. I think that will just work fine. So, the only problem that we're going to face with this is that we need to create it so that the winner is either going to be X or Y or O or it's a draw. So, how can we display that text here? So, for that, we're going to create binding. This will basically be a text function that will, this whatever the return value is going to appear on here is going to be the return value that's going to be displayed. So let's create a branch. Link. Uh, we should make a local variable string because that's. And since no winner yet is our default uh, win name, as long as it's not that, it should return a value, which is going to be string. Uh, I guess I do have to do it. it. Should convert it string to text automatically. All right. So whatever the text is going to be, it's going to display right there. I should probably also align it. If I can find it, there you go. Align in the middle. Minus two hundred. How big is the text block? Four hundred. One hundred. Let's put this. Fifty. No. Minus fifty. Okay. Now it is centered. And save this. That's the event binding that we already have. We should probably rename this. This function is going to update automatically, so we don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the execute console command because I don't need it. Okay, so we're gonna have to create another UI here. Create widget. The only player. Let me just duplicate this here. Okay, and this is going to be the winner UI, I think. Yep. And probably I'm going to also promote this to a variable. Um, 
just gonna call this Okay, so it's gonna create our winner UI. Okay, and now we only gotta do is add to viewport over here. Okay, target this one, gonna add that. And then we need to we need to find what we named the variable uh, vinner UI name. to be And this is going to get connected to the winner UI name because I should just manage that. And that will pop out whenever we win. Okay. Uh, now that's done. We also gotta make sure whenever we reset the game, it is removed from. The window so as soon as we click restart and then I should just do this probably could connect that one like from there but it doesn't matter okay and let's try it out is it appearing right now nope so winner is X if I click restart all of that is functioning properly okay great in the next video, we'll tackle how to handle a scoreboard so that every time a player wins, we can keep a track of it and it will just be a counter on this side. So yeah, see you then.